Oh, these properties need to get shut down. They need to get shut down. A troubled north side apartment complex is facing more problems tonight. Tenants now say enough is enough. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm Amber Grigley. First responders have responded to Lakeside Point at Nora apartment complex more than 70 times this year, most recently for a shooting yesterday. But crime and fires aren't the only issues there. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson has been digging into complaints filed by the health department for poor living conditions. Amber, the Marion County Public Health Department says it's received around 107 complaints within the last six months. It's, it's treacherous over here. Residents at Lakeside Point at Nora Apartments are concerned about their safety following a string of fires, shootings, and what they say are unlivable conditions. Black mold, water leaks, uh, I mean, you name it. The health department has issued several notices of violation for mold in the carpet, ceiling and walls, roaches, electrical problems, plumbing and more. 28 cases with multiple violations were filed in November and four cases on December 1st. This video sent to us by a resident today shows the condition inside his unit. It's a lot of people from different countries that live here. They don't get treated right. And I mean, you know, I don't, I don't think it's right. <laughs> The Indianapolis Fire Department has responded to 20 fires here this year. A recent blaze cost more than 20 people their home. That was the last straw. That was icing on the cake right there. When I seen that, I was like, man, I got to get out of here because it's unsafe. I don't want to come home after work and then see my place burnt up. I'd rather sleep in my car. Residents and community members are frustrated with the property owners. They have not even demolished the burned out buildings. That's the least they could do. We got water damage to our apartments. Our windows are painted still shut, and that's one of the biggest things right now, especially since we just had a fire two weeks ago, and now we're back with this fire, and then the front office burnt down. There's just fires everywhere. The attorney general's office filed a lawsuit against the property owners in July. It tells us it's working to schedule a mediation to resolve all issues before the end of the year, but some residents say that's not enough. These problems just need to get shut down. You know, that's the bottom line. They need to just shut them down because it's going to get worse. In the meantime, we've had fires. We've had people uh, had to leave, no place to go. We've had crime, shootings, and I blame it all on the judge right now because the judge did not act as he should have when it first came into his court. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Thanks, Rachel, for that update. WRTV has been following this story for years. For all of our coverage, head over to our website at WRTV.com.